I wanted to show you a new feature or a new macro that was just added to Chili Pepper. Click the macro button to get the macro window. And it's called Inject Button into Macro Toolbar. Uh, the, the, the macro loads, there's not a lot of code to it, but notice right here you're going to get a couple of buttons when you hit run. So you get button one and button two. We added buttons to the macro toolbar. And if I click button one or button two, you get some output. So all it really does is allow you to add a couple of toolbar buttons inside your macro. There's a pretty standard macro format emerging which is to encapsulate it into a, a main object with an init method <clears throat> and an uninit method. And the reason that's important is that if you go and change your code and you keep hitting run, it deletes the buttons and re-adds them uh, pretty cleanly. Here's the add button method. You can remove buttons this way. This is your on button one click. So it just throws in a status. But if you, for instance, wanted to start your code playing, you would do something like chili pepper dot publish and you would publish to it's really mimicking this button right here. So you would publish to um, com chili pepper uh, widget G code play and close that. You can just send an empty payload. And now when we run this, instead of it just being button one uh, to run, it will start playing our G-code. Um, let me actually disconnect from my tiny G and I'll hit play. And you can see that the play button got hit. I will actually go ahead and hit stop. <clears throat> um, I could maybe make button two be the stop command. So let's go ahead, paste some code down here, and we'll say stop. And now we will go ahead and run this again. Now button one is attached to play. You can see it started playing. Instead of hitting stop there, I can hit stop here, and it's the equivalent. So uh, check out the new macro. You can embed it into your own macro to add your own buttons uh, to kind of control your macros better. Enjoy.